All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today, I've got new wheel and tires for the black car. I got four, they're all the same size. I didn't want to go for the staggered look this time around. Let me just go get them for you. Let's see if you guys can see this. I'm gonna have to bring it back. Of course it doesn't fit in here. Well, this is the new tire, wheel and tire. It's kind of the same look. These are a little bit darker gray. I think it's called anthracite. I got these from American Racing. Right now, I'm gonna get the front tires off, both of them. Put two of these on, then we'll do the back end a little bit later. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so after I just destroyed my finger on an aluminum end table, we're back. Uh, I got the car up on jack stands. I just gotta get the front two wheels off and we'll swap them for the new ones. One thing I want to do for these new wheels is take the center caps out of my old wheels because I like the Mustang and the center cap and swap them. Hopefully they fit because I've done this before and the center caps aren't like the same size so it fits in there really loose but I'm going to try that right now. There's that one. Here's the Mustang one. Let's see if it fits. And it does not. Yeah, they're completely different size. This one's way longer. That's okay. That's right. I'll just keep the center cups. I gotta go grab the new lug nuts. Also got new wheel locks for this as well. I think this came part of the kit. I'll link the kit down in the description for all you Mustang guys that are down there that are watching. And these wheels just barely fit. I'm talking hundreds of an inch, I want to say. I did check the size and they do fit. It's just these brakes, the brake caliper is very, very close. I'll show you guys later. These are no longer uh, 21 millimeter lugs. They're now three quarters. So just be aware of that when you do buy wheels. The lug size is probably going to change. Get on hit. Sweet. And then we'll torque them later when it's on the ground. Let's get the other side off. My GoPro is giving me mass amounts of trouble right now. Um, I've had this do it to me before and I had to reformat the SD card. I'm hoping I fixed it. So let's get the new wheel on the car. I need to grab new lug nuts. Got them. A little tip, I like to put the three, the three studs on the top. It just helps me line up the tire better. I don't know if some other people do it different, but that's just the way I do it. Okay. And it doesn't hit. Now I'm going to get in the car and turn these side to side and uh, check them for clearance under there. The old wheels were 15 by 8s, but these are 15 by 9s, so there shouldn't be any clearance issues. I think this car was offered with 19 inch wheels by 9, I believe, so clearance should not be a problem at all. But I'm going to check anyways. This side. Okay, so we're good on. We're good turning, um, what is that, left. Now I'll check right. Looks pretty good. Sweet. Nothing here. Nothing on this side. I gotta go check the other side. So that's good. No clearance issues whatsoever. I do realize that there's no load on this. And there's no, uh, the suspension is not compressed right now. After I'm all done, obviously I'm going to go drive it, check everything out, make sure nothing rubs, nothing's catching anywhere. I'll check back with you guys in a bit and we'll get the rear wheels on. Now is a good time, however, to get the stickers off the tires. Check it out now. The song's so rubber. Right about now. The song's so rubber. Check it out now. Hopefully 
myself myself with enough room to get these wheels off. Or sorry, the new wheels back on since they're a little bit bigger. And we got plenty of room back here. These brakes are not nearly as big. I'm gonna pull the sticker off now since it's a little bit easier to get to out here. Oh great. Wow. If anyone has tips on how to get these off, let me know. This sucks. Eh, close enough. It'll wear off. Okay, got the new lug nuts. Let's get this thing on. Getting my studs here. What's the key over there? That's my wheel lock key. That's the one thing you don't want to lose. Got it. <laughs> it's over on the workbench. That's a big thing. Don't ever lose. If you ever have wheel locks, don't lose the key. Because then you'll be screwed. I'm going to go pull the parking brake off so I can spin this just to check for clearance. And it's in park. It's a quick tip. Put the car in neutral if you want to check clearance here. And it'll spin. And we're good. Okay, so this side's good. Let's go to the other side. A little less room over here. Up against the workbench. Up again. Doing well. Doing well so far. Close. Very close. Come on. Again, if anyone has a pro tip to get this uh, these tire stickers off, let me know, because this is difficult. Are these are the lug nuts I got for it. They're Cal Custom. It came as a kit, because it was cheaper to buy as a kit instead of with the uh, separate lug nuts and uh, lock kit, so I just got it all together. Let's go check it again. Cool, nothing hits, we're good. Now we can go ahead, get the car down, torque all of these. Do not forget to torque your wheels because that was just a scary thought, having one of these things fall off on you. So I'm torquing these down to 110 foot pounds. Stock is 100, but I just want to be extra, just a little extra safe. 110 pounds isn't gonna hurt nothing. Probably put the parking brake on. Now for the front wheels. One more. And that's it, that's all of them. I forgot the key. I need the key to do this last part. It's right in my pocket. I'm a dumbass. I have new sensors in all the, on, in all the tires. So I have to reset them back to the computer. I replaced them with new sensors. I didn't replace them. I didn't take the old ones out of the old tires. So there's this weird sequence you gotta do. I've done it before. I think it's a little different than my other car. But if you do have new wheels with new wheel sensors, you're gonna wanna look up like the procedure. It's like, it's a weird like brake pedal ignition key thing. So let's get going. Turn the ignition to the off position so it's off. Press and release the brake pedal. Okay. Off to run three times and in the run position. So go one, two, three. Press and release the brake pedal. Turn the ignition off. Cycle the ignition off three more times and in the run again. One, two, three. Horn will sound once and the TPS telltale will blink. Oh. I did the wrong sequence. Parking brake maybe need to be on. Okay, let's try this again. Press and release the brake pedal. Okay, turn ignition from off. One, two, three. One, two, off. Then we gotta go three more times. One, two, three. Okay, so the horn honked. That's good. That means I have to train, it says it on the dash right, I have to train the left front tire. You need this tool for at least Ford vehicles. You need, you have to go up, 
hold it to the tire, and I believe the horn will beep, and that tire is done. And you go around each each tire and do that. And you just hold this up. There's a little arrow on it. You just hold that part to the valve stem, and it'll beep, and it resets that tire. So now we're going to go do that. So you're going to hear four honks. That's one. That's two. Now it wants to do the right rear. That's three. And now it's telling me to do left rear. And it said on the, my dash, it says training complete, hit OK. And that's it, you're done. Whatever vehicle you need to reset, I'd look it up on that vehicle's forum somewhere. They'll, some dude has it somewhere. And that's it. Now I'm going to check the tire pressure and we should be good. I'm gonna go back um, sometime later this week. I'm gonna retorque them again just to make sure they're good. The front, the front wheels just clear the brakes. I'm talking maybe like an eighth of an inch, maybe eighth of an inch. I want to say those, those uh, these wheels that I got have uh, just an eighth of an inch between the brake caliper itself and the wheel spoke. I did check to see if they fit before, and people say they did because I just have standard brakes. I don't have I don't have the big Brembo brake package that uh, some of these Mustangs did come with. If you do have that, these wheels will not fit. Or these wheels will not fit on um, or with the Brembo brakes whatsoever. They're just too big. It just it won't fit. The wheels all around they're all 18 by nines. They are wrapped in BF Goodwrench's um, I believe BF Goodwrench Comp Two All Seasons. They are 255, 45, 18s. The wheels that came off, I think were 235, 50, 18s. So I still kept a decent amount of sidewall with the 45s. The ride quality is actually still pretty nice. It's not too bad from stock. But new, the new tires grip so much better than my old tires. My old tires were so worn out, it was ridiculous. Like I was saying, these new tires have so much more grip. I'm so much more comfortable driving this car now with these one, they're an inch, they're an inch wider um, all, all around. Um, two, my old tires had no tread left on them for the most part. They were almost bald. These have, these are so, like the handling is ridiculous. It, it just, it grabs now. But that's with new tires whatsoever. That just, that happens with new tires anyways. I may get wheel spacers for the fronts just because they are so close to the brake caliper. Maybe some like thin wheels, wheel spacers, maybe like a quarter inch if I could find them. Maybe smaller if need be. Since they are all the same tires, I can rotate them. I can only rotate them front to back though. I can't go side to side because they are directional tires, which kind of sucks. But I believe with this wheel size, I have to get directional. So that's a pretty badass lightning. Those Ford Lightnings are awesome, by the way. I think I saw someone do a review on them one time. Was that dude in blue i think that dude's awesome uh, wheel spacers might might be a possibility in the future i definitely want to do wheel spacers in the back just for that that poked out kind of look without getting bigger wheels themselves all right so if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content i'll see you guys in the next one The flunk's so rubber, check it out now. The flunk's so rubber, right about now.